A permanent life or a temporary life? Are you living a permanent life or temporary life? Well, are you? You're living a permanent life if you love God himself first before you suffer things people. As a real to first love, vows to your promised spouse. First relationship with, to serve master. Labor and work for first, king, ruler over us, to honor, please, impress, rely, depend, committed to, to worship as a real to God, faithful, best friend, fellowship with, belong to. Speak and say his two words and do his right choices to bear by and from his two words, wise in God, to live on through like him, different, godly, righteous, truthful, spiritual. He lives in us, his spirit, light, and the peace spirit, and fills us inside all when he satisfies us, true, makes us happy. God's goodness, living, a permanent life that's forever in God's kingdom, inherit everything in citizenship, riches, possession, church, promise, love, peace, your life, light, and spirit forever in this new whole city. But you're living a temporary life if you love yourself first, or a thanks to people to serve, master, labor, work for first, rule over you, to honor, please, impress, rely, depend on, committed to. To worship all sins, lies, fellowship with, belong to, say, and deliver, and by, obey, by, and from. The wrong ones abandon us, unclean, unwise, worldly like them, dying, living a temporary life. The world's darkness has you. This your own citizenship, best friends with, digging your own grave, and you end up with nothing in the world's grave, dark death, forever burn hell, and the lake fire forever. First Peter 1. To God's elect, chose strangers in the world, scattered everywhere, who have been chosen by God according to the knowledge. Of God the Father in his two words, of our Lord Jesus Christ in his mercy, he has given us a new new birth in him through the sanctifying work, the spirit of obedience to Christ Jesus, sprinkled by his blood, who are living a permanent life, living in him. Praise God's love be to the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to a living hope through the resurrection of Christ Jesus from the dead, and into inheritance life in his kingdom, eternal life. That can never perish, die, spoil, or fade away, kept in heaven for you eternal life, who through faith in God are shielded by God's power in him until the coming of salvation is ready to be revealed. In the last time in a time, you may have to suffer grief of all kinds. At trials, these have to come so that your faith in God of greater worth than gold, money, etc., which perishes, dies, even through refined by fire, may be proved genuine in God. And may result in praise God's love, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ revealed. Those who have preached the gospel of the Holy Bible to you by the Holy Spirit of God himself, see in heaven, even angels of God, long to look to these saints. Therefore, prepare your minds in God's actions righteously. Be self controlled, such hope, glory, and the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. And you'll live forever with him in his kingdom. Amen. Hey, the song is called. This world is dark and death, and God is life and light in Him. The world is dark and death, God is life and light in Him. That will never end with Him, and this kingdom of eternal life with Him. Which do you choose? Which do you belong? Is it where you will land by and from the
be it's been raining and I don't think it's supposed to rain anymore the rest of the day. I'm wearing my in between, amen, amen. Gonna be that time of year, it's almost fall. And it's gloomy out, I feel kinda yucky. So pardon me, I feel it's kinda tired. Hey, I'm Pastor Marshall, let's fish for Pastor is Christ Jesus, everyone. It's the Lord's Supper Sunday, so have it already. Wow, what beautiful and wonderful weather we've had. Amen there. And remember those in our prayers from 9-11. Amen there. Living a permanent life or temporary life? Are you living a permanent life or temporary life? Well, are you? Permanent life, if you love God himself first before yourself, things people as a real to first love out to promise spouse first relationship with to send a master labor work for first king ruler over us to honor, please impress, rely, depend on, commit to to worship as a real to God, thankful, best friend, fellowship with, belong to, speak and say his two words, do his right choice to bear by and from his two words, wise in God, to live for the world like him, different, godly, righteous, truthful, spiritual. Us, his spirit light and the food of the spirit fills us inside. He's all we need, satisfies us, true, makes us happy. His goodness, we're living a permanent life that's forever in God's kingdom, inherit everything and citizenship, riches, possession, treasure, promise of love, life, light, spirit, forever in his, and in his new city. But you're living a temporary life if you love first yourself, things, people, to serve, master, to labor, work for first. Ruler over you to honor, please impress, rely, depend, and committed to. To wish a vital sense lies, fellowship with, belong to, say and do. Best friends with, live for and buy, bed by and from. The wrong ones, the bad ones, unclean, unwise. Your worldly like them, dying, living a temporary like the world's darkness has you, and this is your home citizenship. Digging your own grave, and you end up with nothing in the world's grave. Dust, dark stuff forever. Burning in the lake fire for our first Peter 1 to God, God's elect chosen strangers in the world everywhere, scattered, or scattered everywhere, yes we are, who have been chosen by God according to the knowledge of God the Father, his two words, of our Lord Jesus Christ in his mercy, he has given us a new, new, new birth in him, yes he has, <clears throat> through the saints' fame work of the Spirit for being to Jesus Christ and sprinkled by his blood, who are living a permanent life, living in Him, praise God's love, be the God of the Father, and by our Lord Jesus Christ, and the living hope through the resurrection of Christ Jesus from the dead, into the inheritance, life, and kingdom, eternal life, that can never perish, die, spoil, or fade away, kept in heaven for you, eternal life, who through faith in God, are shielded by God's power in God, until the coming salvation is ready to be revealed at the last time, at the end of time, you may have to suffer grief of all kinds. Yes, we do. Trials. These have come so that your faith in God of greater worth than gold, money, etc., which perishes, dies, even through refined by fire, may be proved genuine in God. It's got to be genuine in God. And may zold and praise God's love, glory and honor when Christ Jesus revealed. Those who have preached the gospel of the Holy Bible to you by the Holy Spirit of God Himself sent from heaven, even as a God alone to look into these things. Therefore, be prepared your minds of God and actions righteously. Be self controlled, set your hope fully on the grace of God. God, He's given us when your Jesus Christ revealed at the end of time, when He comes again as obedient and righteous children of God, our permanent life living. Do not conform to the evil desire since life is temporary, life dying. Worldly like them you have when you lived in ignorance that ends dies forever. Just that he got himself so to be holy in God himself. Godly like him righteously. That's a permanent life living will live forever with God in his kingdom. And it's the Holy Spirit live forever. Amen. Pardon me at the beginning. The song he did so I had to shorten that part. So pardon me. And we should get this week's lesson. Okay, now this is for one. This is for the newcomers. I should be dead three times. Twice I've had tumors, once I had a near-death experience. The last time I had tumors, I got down my hands and knees. I didn't pray to God, cried, meditated, screamed, and fasted for days. I did, and made him a promise. I tell the real God's truth, and my tumors disappeared. My strong faith in God healed me. This is real God's truth. And when I had a near-death experience, I've seen both having Jesus, Jesus, 
and hell the devil. So there really are both places, amen, amen, there. Okay, now this week's word is bias means prejudice in favor against one thing or person. Okay, now excuse me. I have over 200 Christian songs I've written in my mind when I sing them and their words. Okay, now, are you a monkey sees and does type person? Well, are you? You are if you do what you see and you're told by them. They are your master to work for first, committed to. To love first, serve, worship, all sins, life, same, do live for them, by a babe, by and from. The wrong ones, unwise, unclean, the badness, their sickest weaknesses, emptiness, because you're empty inside, dying, by and from. The world's darkness has you whirling like them, belong to. This is your home, sister, your best friend, and fellowship with, ruler over you. And you're truly, excuse my nose, it just. And die in the world's great dark death, burning hell in the lake fire forever. But if you have a type of person, if you're a type of person who's like God, godly, righteous, who's spiritual, like Him. He lives in us, the spirit, light, and the finished spirit, and his goodness and cleanliness. He fills us inside. He's all we need. Yes, he is. Agape love that's beyond above all others, as I wrote to first love. That's an undying love. Vows to promise, spouse, family first. We're in, cont in control and belong to God. To serve, worship, as I wrote to God, say his true words, his right choice to be by and from. We're wise in God. He's our master to work for first. To live for and through, that's an undying life, L-I-F-E. We're living. He... He's our faithful best friend of fellowship with, committed to, to trust, believe, and have strong faith. He's our strength and cures our home and sisterships and God's kingdom, treasure, possessions. Promise and love, peace, joy, life, life, spirits, forever, and his city. Amen. Okay, now this week's Bible verse is Psalm 17, 1. Hear, O Lord, my righteous plea. Listen to my cry. Give ear to my prayer. It does not rise from deceitful lips, idle sins, lies. Okay, now ask yourself. This very most important question of your life itself. What good is it to gain the whole world in this possession pledge formed by your own ones desires, craving less and for more? They do not satisfy you because they do not feel you inside or to make you happy. Who and what's saying? To love first yourself and things people were like them, sir, master, will are over you to worship idols, sins, life, saying, do live for and by a babe by and from commit to belong, control, or power you fellowship with best friends with dying, the darkness lives in you, unwise, unclean, the badness and their weakness, sicknesses, and you forfeit lose your very life itself and dies and, and end up with nothing in the world's great dark death or burning hell like fire for every man. Okay, and this week's chills. Ah, excuse me. Okay, I'm trying to do this too fast, pardon me. This week's two and lessons for everyone is follow. I had a lesson on this a while back. The leader, follow the leader. Now it's two and we've all played follow the leader. But even as adults, we follow a leader. Jesus Christ is our leader to follow. He goes before us. As we pray to give him our sins out of his lives on his cross, they've died completely. We rose from this world's dark to death grave and rose to his life, light in him, being reborn, new, purified, cleansed. Now living new and better life in him. As we love God himself first, vows to promise, agape love that's beyond above all others. Before ourselves, things, people to serve, master, as the Holy Bible teaches us, faithful, best friend to worship as a rule to God, to speak his true words, do his right choice, to bear by and from, as the Holy Bible teaches, belong to. He's in control of us and our powers us, as we are like him, godly, spiritual, truthful, and righteous, different. He's all we need. He fills us inside his spirit, light in the field, spirit, Galatians 5 20, 26 lives in us. God truly makes us happy. God blesses us. As we follow Jesus Christ, he's our leader, goes for us towards his kingdom. Our home possesses treasures, promise of love, peace, joy, life, spirit. It's forever and his new holy city at the end of time. And live with Jesus Christ and God forever. Amen there. Okay now. There are choices that comes at us all the time. We are to ask what would Jesus say and do and say and do his two words, his right choice for and through him. And be righteous to his spiritual like him. Amen there. Okay now it's time for the Lord's Supper. I do my take mine every morning. 1 Corinthians 11, 20, 26. For whenever you eat this bread, Jesus' body, and drink the cup of grape juice, Jesus' blood, you proclaim the Lord Jesus' death on the wooden cross. We prayed and gave him the sins of his life to his cross. They've died completely. We've crossed over this world's grave, dark death, rose to his life, light in him, saved, set free, and sin no more, and been born new, purified, cleansed, living new and better life, living. He's our leader to follow, goes for us to love and serve. Therefore, whenever you eat this bread, Jesus' body, and drink the cup, grape juice, Jesus' blood, 
And none of the way you haven't prayed and given him your sins out of his life, you still say and do, they'll be guilty of sinning against Jesus Christ and his eternal judgment day, will end die in the grace, dark death, burning hell and the lake fire forever. The person ought to examine the person self does not sin anymore before taking the bread, juice, body, and the drink, the cup of grape juice, Jesus blood without recognize the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Judgment on the person self. That is why many among you are weak and sick by and from and through your sin all lies. And none of you have fallen asleep in the graves until Jesus comes again at the end of time to judge his final judgment as faithful and righteous. For unto him will inherit his new holy sin on Mount Zion live forever. But thou sinners and liars will burn the lake fire forever. For I see the Lord, Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed, he took the bread and broke it and said, Take eat, take eat now. This is my body given to you, members of me. In the same way he took the cup of grape juice, said, Take drink, take drink. This is my blood given to you, members of me. The new covenant. Now obey his in prayer of thanks to him in silence. Okay, let's pray the Lord's Prayer, Matthew 6, 9, 13, Luke 11, 2, 4. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, now be careful on people in sheep's clothing. They look good, look good, look good on the outside. But are truly wolves inside. To devour you, to lust to worship them. Who are all the sinners and liars. You'll, you'll end, die, and be devoured by and from them. And a blind person, all sin and liar, will lead a blind person to lust or worship and follow into the pit, death, hell, and burn forever. Amen there. Okay, now, why choose to belong to this world and make it your home, citizenship, fellowship with, and best friends with the leader to love first yourself and things and people here, serve, master, ruler over you, to please, honor, impress, to depend on, committed to you. To believe, trust, work for first, the possession of pleasures, over and by your own flesh is once as ours seen. Once you are craving less for more, they do not satisfy you to make happy because they don't feel you inside. The badness, unclean, unwise, you say and do. Live for and by a baby, by and from idle sins, lies, you're slave by and from them. The wrong one, sickness is weakness, the world's darkness has you, and you're dying, and you end up with nothing and dying. The world's great dark death forever, burning hell in the lake of fire. Forever. But those who choose to belong to God himself to love first before ourselves, thanks people as he loves too many. He created love in the beginning as he first loved and loved us. And agape loves us beyond above all others. God's the rule to first love, spouse, vows to promise, family, relationship with first. To serve master king, ruler of us, to please, honor, and press, devoted to, commit to, faithful, best friend, fellowship with. To worship as a real to God. God fills us inside. His spirit light and the food spirit lives in us. He's all we need. And truly, honestly, makes us happy, satisfy us. His goodness. To say and speak his two words, just right choice. His will, way, way, customs, tra traditions. To obey by and from God's two words, commands, laws, decrees, precepts, statutes. Wise in God. He's our strength and cures in him. To trust, believe, and strong faith in. Work for first. We pray to give him Jesus Christ our sin, our lives, his, his cross. They've died completely. We've crossed over from this world's grave, dark to death, and rose to his life, light in him. Set free, sin no more, being reborn. New, purified, cleansed, and living new and better life in him, living. He's our leader, goes for us to follow. Our home, citizenship, everything in God's kingdom. Possessions, treasure, riches, promise, love, peace, your life, life, spirits forever. And his new host, sin, you live forever. Amen. So remember that. Okay, everybody, it's going to be cloudy today. And this week wasn't as bad as last week, amen. I mean, I wasn't so busy. Well, I'm always busy, but God always keeps me busy, but you know what I mean. Okay, Cain murdered his brother Abel, who was a righteous person of God. Cain was against God and his commands. The next 20, do not murder. He was the first murderer. Did I even write down that verse? No, I didn't. In Genesis 4, remember that. Amen, amen. He was the first murderer. Genesis 6, God flooded the earth because the earth was covered in altar sinners and liars. 
Noah and the flood in Genesis 6. Amen, amen there. Remember that. Exodus 3, God spoke to Moses, God's faithful and righteous in a burning bush. Exodus 3, remember that. And we are to obey by and from God's Ten Commandments in Exodus 20. Remember that. Amen, amen there. He wants me to read Le Leviticus 18.1.6. The Lord said to Moses, God's faithful and righteous, spake to the Israelites, his people, and say to them, I am the Lord your God. You must not do as they do in Egypt where you live, thou sinners and liars. And you must not do as they do in the land where I am bringing you. Do not follow their practices, thou sinners and liars. You must obey my laws and be careful to follow my decrees. I am the Lord your God. Keep my decrees, my laws, for the person who obeys them will live by them. I am the Lord the God. Amen. Remember that. Deuteronomy 7. Do not intermarriage other people, tribe, altar, sinners, and liars. It's against God. That's right. Amen, amen there. Okay, pardon me. Remember this too. Pardon me here for a second. Jeremiah 3, 14. The Lord God says, I am your husband's spouse first. Yeah, we, he's our first husband, spouse, promise, vows to. Okay, pardon me here. Go to Jeremiah, uh, excuse me here, 730, the Valley of Slaughter. Judah, where you live, has done evil, all sins, lies in his eye, in my eyes, declares the Lord. You have set up detestable idols, sins, lies in the house that bears my name, and have defiled it. You have burned high places in the valley to burn the fire, something I did not command nor did in my mind. So beware, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when people will no longer call it. Valley of Ben Rotten, but the Valley of Slaughter. For you will be bury the dead until there is no more room. Then the carcass of this people, people, people will become food for the birds of the air and beasts of the earth, and there will be no one to frighten them away. I will bring an end in of sounds of joy and gladness, and to the voice bright and grooms in the towns. At Judah streets of Jerusalem, where you live for the land, has become desolate. It becomes desolate. Amen. There. Okay, like I said, he's giving me a lot of Bible verses. I might not get them all done today. Let me go back to bed and get back up again. Jeremiah 47. This is two words of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the two prophet Jeremiah concerning the people. This is what the Lord says. See how the waters are rising in the north. They have become an overflowing torrent. They will flow the lion and everything in it, the towns and those who live in them. The people cry out, I who dwell in the lion will wail. And the sound of his galloping steeds. At the noise of the enemy, I'll send the lighters, chariots, and the rumbling of their wheels. Fathers will turn, not turn to help their children. Their hands will hang lamp. For the day has come to destroy all the Philippines. For the Philistines, our sinners and liars. And to cut off survivors who could help. The Lord is about to destroy the outer sins and liars around in the coast. And shave their heads will be silenced, O remnant of the plain. How long we cut yourselves? Ah, sword of the Lord, you cry. How long until you rest? Return to your scabbard, seize and be still. How can it rest when the Lord has commanded it? When he has ordered it to attack us and out of sins, liars, and the coast. Jeremiah 51, starting at verse 58. Babylon is where you live. Think well, be leveled, and have gates on, set on fire. The people exalt themselves for nothing. The nation's labor is only fuel for the flames. This is the message. Pro, to prophet Jeremiah gave excuse me 
June 12th of Jeremiah had written on a scroll about all the disasters that would come from Babylon, all sins and liars who had been according concerning Babylonians, all sins and liars. When you get there, see that you read all these true words aloud, then say, O oh Lord, you have said you will destroy this place so that neither man nor animals will live in it. People nor animals will live in it. It will be desolate forever. When you finish reading this scroll, tie a stone to it and throw it into the Festivites, our sinners and liars. Then say, so the Babylonians our sinners and liars seem to rise no more because of the disaster I will bring upon her. And the people will fall. The true words of Prophet Jeremiah ends here. Okay. I already read that one. Pardon me. In the pride of your heart, you say you are a God to love seven worship Ezekiel 28, but you're not a God. You're a person of the dust, flesh, and will end die in the world's grave dark death forever as one. Yes, you will. Don't use yourself as God. God's the only real true God to love seven worship. And Daniel and the lions then, his strong faith in God, protect him from the lions in Daniel 6. Remember that. Amen. Okay, everybody, pardon me here. Find the branches, John 15. I am the true vine, and my Father in heaven is the gardener. He cuts every branch in me, 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 that bears no fruit, is Jesus. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that will be more fruitful in him. You are already clean because of the true words I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me, me, me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If a person remains in me, and I am the person, the person will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, 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 the person is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up and thrown to the fire, 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 and burn and die in hell forever. If you remain in, in the lake of fire forever at the end of time. If you remain in me and my two words remain in you, and you ask whatever you wish and it be given to you, this is in my Father God's glory that you bear much fruit in him showing yourselves to be my righteous disciples as the Father God has loved me so I have loved you now remain in my love if you obey my commands you will remain in my love just as I have obeyed my Father in heaven commands and remains in his love I have told you this so that my joy glitch fight with God's love peace joy may be in you and that your joy glitch fight with God's love peace joy may be complete my commands is love each other from God's love and brother sister love as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this that the person lays down his life for his friends. You are my friend. If you do what I command, says Jesus, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know what his master's business. Instead, I have called you friend for everything I have earned from my Father in heaven learned from my father in heaven i have made known to you you have not chosen me but i chose you and appoint you to go and bear fruit galatians 5 26 god's love peace joy fruit that will last in him in his kingdom then the father god will give you whatever you ask in my name says jesus this is my command love each other from god's love and brother sister love if the world hates you, keep in mind that hated me first is Jesus. If you belong to the world, it will love you of its own as it is. You don't belong to the world. No, you don't. For I have chose you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember the two words I spoke to you. No servant is greater than his, the person's master, which is Jesus Christ. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obey my teaching, they will obey yours also. They will treat you this way because of my name, says Jesus, for they do not know the one God himself who sent me. If I had not come and spoke to, the, to, to them, you, then you would not be guilty of sin, sin. Now, however, they have no excuse for their sin, sin, sins. The person who hates me 
hates my father in heaven as well. If I had not done among them what no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin, sin, sin. But now they have seen these miracles and yet have not hated both me and the Father in heaven. But this is to fulfill what is written in their law. They hated me without reason, says Jesus. When the counselor comes whom I was sent from the Father in heaven, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, who goes out from the Father God, he will testify about me, me, and you must testify, for you have been with me from the beginning. Amen, amen. Oh, no, I brought me that one. Okay, Acts 11, 26. The disciples were called first Christians at Antioch. Amen, amen. Okay, <clears throat> Romans 9, 1. I speak the truth in Christ Jesus. I am not lying, and my conscience confirms in the Holy Spirit of God himself. Amen, amen. Okay, everybody, pardon me here. He's giving me way too many. Bible verse, 1 Corinthians 6, 12. I will not be mastered by anything on one except God himself. Amen, amen there. He's my master. 1 Corinthians 15. Let's just read that next week. He's giving me too many Bible verses. Um, pardon me here. First. 2 Corinthians 6, 14, 18. Do not be yoked together with the unbelievers, our sinners and liars. For we, as righteous and faithful in God, have nothing in common with them. Amen, amen. And put on the former God in Ephesians 6, 10, 6, starting to verse 10. Amen there. Remember this, James 2, 14. Faith in God and good works for and through God works together and made complete for God Himself. That's right. Amen. Amen. Okay, first Peter one is this week's to God Peter and Apostle Jesus Christ. To God's elect strangers, chosen strangers in the world, scattered the everywhere, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God. <coughs> The Father, through the sanctifying work of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ, freedom by His blood. Praise God, so be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, through His great mercy. He has given a new, new birth into His living hope through the resurrection of Christ Jesus from the dead, 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 into an inheritance of God's kingdom that can never perish, die, spoil, or fade away, kept in heaven for you, who through faith in God are shielded by God, God's power, power, power. Until the coming of salvation is ready to be revealed at the end, last times at the end of time. In this you will great rejoice, though now in a little while you may have to suffer grief of all kinds of trials. These have to come on, so that your faith in God of greater worth than gold, money, etc., which perishes, dies, even refined by fire, may be proved genuine in God, and may result in praise God's love, glory, and honor when Christ Jesus is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, even though though you do not see him, now you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible, glorious joy, glorious fight with God's love, his joy. For you have received the goal of your faith in God, the salvation of your soul. So concerning the salvation, the prophets who spoke of the grace that was to come to you searched intently with the greatness, care, trying to find out the time and circumstance to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointed, kept, when he predicted the suffering of Christ and the glory is that would follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves themselves, but you, when they spoke to things that have now been told to you by those who preach the gospel of the Holy Bible to you. Remember this. <clears> Through <throat> the Holy Spirit of God Himself set from heaven, even angels on to these things. Excuse me, I'm thirsty. Therefore, prepare your minds in God and actions in, for God. Be self controlled, set your hope fully on the great grace given to you when Christ Jesus revealed the end of time. As obedient children of God, do not conform to the evil desire of all sins lies you had when you lived in ignorance but just as he who God himself calls you is holy 
Be holy in all you do, for it is written, Be holy because I am holy, says God. Since you call on the Father God who judges each person's work in, impartially, live your lives as strangers here in reverence fear, for you know that is not with perishable things our sins lies, such as silver, gold, money, etc., that you will redeem saved from the empty ways of life handed down to you by your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ Jesus, the Lamb without blemish or defect, he was chosen for the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times. Now here for your sake through him, you believe in God who raised him from the dead and glorious in him, glorified him, excuse me. So your faith and hope are in God. Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth of God, so that you have sincere love of God for your brothers and sisters, everyone, love another deeply from the heart of God's love. For you have been born again in Christ Jesus, not a perishable seed, all sins, the lives of this world, but imperishable in God through the little living during the true words of God. All people are like glass. All the glory are like flowers of the field. The grass withers and flowers fall, dies forever, but the true words of God stands forever and lives by them, stands forever with him in his kingdom. At this, the true word that was preached to you, therefore rid yourselves of all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, and being slander of every kind, like newborn babies. Crave her spiritual milk, spiritual milk, so that you may grow up, grow up in your salvation. Now that you have tasted that the Lord, the Lord is good. He's good in Him. Yes, He is. <clears throat> Excuse me, I wasn't supposed to read that part. Pardon me. Oh, I'll finish reading it. As you come to Him, the living stone, rejected by people, chosen by God, and pressed to Him, you also are like a living stone, are being built, built, built into a spiritual house to be a whole holy priesthood. Offer spiritual sacrifice to God, accepting, acceptable to God. Through Jesus Christ, for in scriptures it says, See, see, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen precious stone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe in God, this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, this stone has, the builders rejected, has become a capstone. A stone that caused people to stumble to sin out of lies. And the rock that makes them fall and die forever. They stumble because they disobey the message of God, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen righteous people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation of people belonging to God, that you may declare the praise God's love of Him, who calls you out of the darkness of all sins, lies into His wonderful light in Him. Once you were a people, not a people, but now you are a people, God, God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy, dear friends. I urge you as aliens and strangers in this world to obtain from sinful desires, words of war against your so, so, so. Live such good lives among the pagans, our sinners and liars, that they, they accuse you of doing wrong. They may see your good, good deeds formed through God and glory for God the day of his visits, the day he visits us. Submit yourselves to the Lord, the Lord say to every authority, to among men, whether king, authority, or to govern, who are sent by him, punish wrong, to do wrong, and to command those who do right. For it is God's will that by doing good for him, you should be sons, and talk of foolish people, Live as free people, but not use your freedom to cover up your evil, all sins, lies. Live as servants, righteous servants of God. Show proper respect in everyone's love and brotherhood of believers. Fear God, honor the King, save us, submit yourselves, and masters, and masters, those who are good and considerate, but also those who are harsh. For it is commendable for a person being there's up the pain of just suffering because he is the person is conscious of God, but how is it to your credit you receive a beating of doing wrong? 
endure it. But if you suffer for doing good for unto God, then you endure it. This is a commandable before God. To this you were called because Christ suffered for you, leaving an example that you should follow his steps. That's right. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When they heard the souls of him, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threat. Instead, he entrusted himself to him, God, who judged justly. He himself bore our sin sins in his body on a tree, 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 so that we might die to sin sins and live for righteousness in God by his wounds. You have been healed, for you were like sheep going astray. But now you have returned to the shepherd Jesus Christ and overseer of your soul. Amen. Okay, I don't know. He brought me that one. Okay, we're on Revelation 6 at the end of the Bible when Christ Jesus comes again. Pardon me. I watched them open the first of seven seals, and I heard one of the living creatures say in a voice like thunder, Come! I looked, and there before me was a white horse, his rider, and a bow, held a bow. And he was given a crown. He rode as conqueror, been on a quest. When the Lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come. Excuse me. Then another horse came out, a fiercely red one. Its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and to make people slay each other. To give him was given a large sword. When the Lamb opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come. I looked, and there before me was a black horse. Its rider was holding a pair of like a voice among the four living creatures, saying, A quarter of wheat, a day's wages, and a quarter of barley for a day's wages, and do not damage your will the one. Then the lamb opened the fourth seal. I heard the voice of the fourth living creature come, and I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death, and Hades, which is and when it was followed close behind him, they were given power over the fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine and plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the true words of God was testimony they had maintained. They called out in a loud voice, How long, O seven Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Then each of them was given a white robe, and they were told to wait a little longer until the number of their fellow servants and brothers and sisters who were to be killed as they had been was complete. I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth, like goat hair. The whole moon turned blood red, and the stars in the sky fell on earth. At late, as late figs drop from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind, the sky receded like a scroll rolled up, and every mountain island was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth, princes, generals, the rich, the mighty, and every slave, and every free person hid in caves and among the rocks of the mountains, which are the all sinners and liars. They call the mountains and the rocks, fall on us. And hide us from the face of him, Jesus Christ, who sits on the throne, the of the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of the wrath has come, and who can stand? Amen, amen. Okay, pardon me. Might not have time to do another song. I made this week's long. Number what God himself comes first means the most to love. Before ourselves, the things of people here, as love's too many, he created love in the beginning. As he first loved, loved us, and we were too first loved if he loved us beyond above all others. Spells in Revelation 2 4, Jeremiah 3 4, Isaiah 54 5. Spells to promise relationship with family first, to serve master in Luke 16 15, work for labor for first, king rule over us, to honor, please, impress, devoted to, to rely, depend on, belong to, he's in control, and our powers us and committed to him. God's our creator, reason, purpose, why we are here. We speak God's two words and language to his right choices. Ways will cuss tradition to bad by from God's two words, commands and commands, Acts 20, grace commands, Mark 12, 29, 31, laws, decrees, precepts, statutes. We're wise in God, we're godly like Him. Righteous truth, spirit, God's spirit, and the fruit of the spirit, and blessed fight to us, God's love, joy, excel is in us. He's out when He satisfies, truth makes us happy. 
and his goodness connection with the man he, as we hear his two words is to say and do his see his miracles wonders and beauty is everywhere we're grown up and mature in god his holiness salvation god provides the rain to drink plants to grow and eat he takes care of his god's righteous people try to his children disciples we pray and give him jesus christ sounds lies of dying on this cross he crossed over this world's grave darkest death and rose to his life lighting him saved set free and sin no more being reborn new purified cleansed living and living new and better life of christ jesus to follow he's the leader goes before us we believe in that strong faith in god's strength cures and God blesses uh, blessings on us. Excuse, uh, excuse me. We live as strangers and aliens here, pass through for a short time as we trust in God. We trust also meets Jesus in John 14 1. We can't do everything in Christ Jesus gives us strength in Him. In Philippians 4 13, we burn our bodies in Mark Jesus in Galatians 6 17. We put on the form of God in Vision 16 18. From the devil's in our lives comes at us all the time. So we have two words and his right choice for through God. We live as strange and natives. You know, I already said that. Passed through it for a short time. I, pardon me. I write on this. I work on my sermon all week, so pardon me. Um, pardon me. We pray and give him Jesus Christ our sins out of his lives. They've died completely on his cross. We've crossed over in this world's dark death. The low position, temporary life, childish ways, and roasted his life, lighting him. The high position, permanent life, maturing him, being set free, saved, sin no more. Living, doing, better life in Christ. She's living. He's our leader. To follow goes for us. To love and serve. So we'll make it on his eternal judgment day. And be not guilty. Inherit everything in this kingdom. Possession, pleasure, promise, the love, life, peace, joy, and spirits forever. And there's no receiving Mount Zion at the end of time. Number two, come to your spouse and yourself. Number three, come to work 45 hours a week. Number four, come to your friends. My number one person, smart organization, preach the gospel, the holy Bible, God's truth, kingdom, eternal life, and prepare Christ Jesus come again at the end of time and help save and guide God's righteous people. Home to his kingdom, eternal life. Number two, sell people. Number three, sell make our community stay a better, safe place to live. Number four, help find missing people and search all noise. I've been mother, God, and pure, and this person, issues. I've adopted my neighborhood. Pardon me. Woo. Black makes you sweat. <laughs> Woo! Pick up trash and keep it a nice and peaceful neighborhood. Pardon me if it shuts off. I made this week's long. As long as you get this week's lesson, I'm ordained pastor. If you need my services, prayers, or have ideas for our state community, you can email me at marshb6 at gmail.com. Truckers are watching my sermons on Wi Fi. My three level apartment house. I finally shampooed my carpet and furniture. Touch up painted. Tomorrow we're mowing our on the neighbors. Okay, now in East Peoria Citywide, cleanup is October 3rd through the 7th. Okay, now you can donate Bibles. Go on lovepackage.com.org. Excuse me. Where to send them? Okay, now. Are you one seeking sand, dying, buying from this world out since the lies to love yourself or things and people first? Serve, worship. To say and do live for by a babe, buying from, belong to. Then you want seeking sand, dying in this world's darkness. Has you the wrong ones, badness, unclean, unwise, sicknesses, weaknesses, worldly like them, trust, believe on, connection with, committed to, child's way, just possess, pleasure, by from your own flesh, one side of the same, pray less for more than their emptiness, they do not feel you inside or to make you happy and dig in your own grave, by and from, fellowship, best friends with, this is your home, citizenship, you will truly and die, and end up with nothing in the grave, dark death, burning hell, and the lake of fire forever at the end of time, but God's our rock, our rock keeps us safe, living, as we love God first, before ourselves, things and people here, vows to and promise, as our real to first love, as we love us beyond above all others, to serve, worship us, will to God, say his two words, his right choice, godly like him, live for him through righteous person like him, God's spirit, light and the fear of spirit lives in us, fills us size all we need, and truly makes us happy, his goodness and cleanliness to obey by and from God's true words, Commands, decrees, precepts, statutes, wise in God. God's our strength and cures in Him. To trust, believe in and on. Have strong faith in Him. Connection with on. Or mature on Him in His right ways. He's our faithful best friend fellowship with. Committed, belong to. And have everything. Have everything. In His kingdom, our home, sistership, riches, possession, trust, promise, love, peace, joy, and spirits forever. And his new host in Mount Zion at the end of time, live forever. Amen. Okay, now on this side, you can't download some of my songs. I preach and sing, pray and sing and read, try and write new songs, donations. We are to give a tenth of our money and things and teas and offerings to God, or you are robbing God and under his curse if you don't. In Deuteronomy 14, 23, Malachi 3, 9, if you give a tenth.
and offering to my preacher on the side. Thanks, God bless. And Mission Children Central Illinois are on the side. In Matthew 25, 35, 40, Jesus said, I needed food or a drink, and you fed me and gave me a drink. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I was sick or in prison, and you visited me for at least one of these you did for me, says Jesus. There's a new free clothing store in East Peoria for the poor and needy and homeless called Enough Stuff on Washington Street in Washington Court Shopping Center. They're open Tuesday through Saturday. The number is 270-8503. And the food pantries are low right now, so please donate. Thanks and God bless if you do. And I want to thank Gary Business Restaurants, Carriers, Delivers, First Responders, Pastors, Doctors, and those except for what you do for our community. The real place my metaphysical social health, the OSF there. They're open Monday to Thursday, 5 a.m. to 8 p.m., Friday, 5 to 7, Saturday, 7 to 2 p.m., Sunday closed. Two members only right now. I had a good workout. Pardon me if it shuts off. I mean, this week's too long, so pardon me. Cardio, yes, on the ski walk machine since the pools are closed until October for remodeling. Members are to go to the Y since the Riverplex and Y are joined together. The Y in Peoria has extended their pool for this week only. Since the pool's outside, or go to the Central Park pool from 8 a.m. to noon, Monday through Friday for lap swimming during September. And the Riverplex provides lifeguards. And yoga in the parks on Saturdays, 8 a.m. until September 24th, they're free. Go on Purist Parks just for location register. Bring a mat to work out on. I'll be in the Purist Riverfront to sing next month since there's event, events most of this month. I'll let you know when I'm there. I have no updates on how during the high price on gas and food or the coronavirus. Thanks to our community going on WCSC side of events and our city side of events. And remember, you cannot lie, 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 or hide to it from God. It's impossible. He is everywhere spiritual. He knows, sees, and hears everything you do and say for his eternal judgment. Amen. Okay, let's pray the Lord our God. Bow your heads, close your eyes, fold your hands. Lord, you are God. We wish upon you to serve, Master. We love you first. Before ourselves, things, people here, you are our real to first love, vows to, and promise. Relationship fellowship with first agape love is beyond all all others. King will over us to work for labor for. We honor please you, Lord our God, to impress, devote to, depend, rely, committed to, belong to as we speak your two words to you, right choice to be by and from we're living in you. Lord our God, your spirit, light in the free spirit lives in us, fills us sight all we need, and truly makes us happy. In your goodness, wisdom, cleanliness, our real true home and citizenships in your kingdom with you, Lord our God, inherit everything. Our rich possession, treasure, promise of love, be sure the spirits forever in your new holy city in Mount Zion at the end of time will live forever with you. You, Lord our God, we pray for the 9-11 victims. We pray and think of them for Ukraine, for the Russians' war on them. To protect them, Lord our God, we thank you for creating us in heaven and earth. For the rain to drink, plants to grow, and you pride, take care of us as your righteous people tribe. Lord God, we pray for the shut-ins, sick and in pain, orphans, widows, poor, needy, homeless, refugees, restaurants, bins, deliverers, carry high prices on gas, food, pass away. For the family, riders, protest, so there be peace. Disasters for the victims, soldiers, veterans, teachers, students. For the book I've written for you, Lord our God, that's for sale on the market, the one I'm writing. Songs and organization are all truly and honestly in your hands. And for those who are going through something personally, Austin, Robin, Jesse, Mike, John, Heather, Dawn, Ron, Dawn, this girl from 26, 27 year old daughters. And for those who are missing their families, amen. Okay, now be ready for Jesus to judge day, truth, and kingdom's in there. And the end of all things, people's in there. First P4, seven things, people in the Holy Bible still lives in today's world. One nation under God. God bless the man, trust in God. Emmanuel means God's with us, and it's righteous, faithful, and holy, and God are truly building. And planting up God's foundation for God's righteous people. Tribe is a life children, and disciples to those who love God first. That's an undying love. Before themselves or things of people here. As loves to me, he created love in the beginning. As a real to first love, spouse, spouse to promise, relationship, family first. He means the most comes first to serve, master, guide, to labor. Work for a king, the of us to honor, please. Press, committed to fellowship, best friends, creator. He's our first reason why we're here. Belong to, he's in control of us. 
empowers us. We trust, believe, and so on faith in Him. He's our strength and cure. God blesses us as we speak His two words, His right choice, ways, will cuss, tradition, obey, by and from His two words, commands, precepts, statutes. We're wise in God to live for and through. That's an undying life like Him. Godly, righteous, true spirit. He lives in us. His spirit, life, free spirit. Fills us all. We need happy connection with his goodness, he takes care of us, provides the rain to drink, plants to grow in his righteous people, tribe, Israelites, children. We prayed and given. Christ Jesus, our sins, life to his cross, they've died. We cross over this world's dark steps, rose his life, lighten him. Set free, save the sin one. He's our leader, goes for us to follow. God's our shield, armor, comfort from this world. Our sins, lights come to us all the time. So say his two words, his right choice, one through God. God himself never leaves us, forsakes us. He's in ever caring and loving God. And we'll be completely planned and built up in God's kingdom here at everything. The richest possession is love, peace, joy, having spirit forever in the new holy city at the end of time. But those who love themselves and things, people first, that's a dying love. It means the most comes first to serve, master, guide, leader to fall labor, work for, roll over, please, on press, committed to fellowship with with created things and people belong to him, control power, powers in, believe, trust in, weakness, sickness, God's curse and anger are on him, say and live for and by, babe, by and from the wrong ones, the badness, unwise, unclean, like them, worldly, it's possession, pleasures, by and from the wrong ones, desires, craving, lusting, they do not feel them side, it's emptiness, or truly make them happy, that's saying, and digging on graves, they are uprooting and tearing down themselves, dying, this world's darkness has them, they'll could be completely bred toward them, inside, and is up with nothing, in the world's dark, set great forever, Burning him like fire forever. Okay, now it's cooled off some, and God's provided the rain to drink, plants to grow, and eat. He takes care of us as His righteous people. Amen. There. Thanks, God bless. Fire on my camera record. I'll sing another song. Have a nice and peaceful week. God loves and blesses you. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, it really is about to shut off, so pardon me. A permanent life or temporary life? You're living a uh, Permanent life if you love God first before yourself and things people here. To serve Master, to live for and by, to say and do his two words and just right choice. It's your righteous spirit to like him. He lives in us, his spirit light and free spirit lives in us. That's forever with him in his kingdom. But you're living a temporary life if you put yourself for if you love yourself first or the things of people here. To serve master, to live for and by, to say and do which means you're dying. And you're in dying in the world's great dark death forever, burning hell in the lake of fire forever. Well, anyway, as long as you get this week's song, and pardon me, I'm gonna try to hurry get this done. It's about, it really is about ready to shut off, so pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me.